up this morning thinking about what we should make for Easter this year. As I grow older, I realize how incredibly beautiful this holiday is. As a child, it was often the Easter bunny and baskets of sweets that would be filled with eggs mid-morning that signified this day. My father took us to church, but I think as a child it is hard to fully grasp the meaning of Easter. It has since become my favorite holiday. I like to make something that feels a bit grand, and although I haven't quite figured out the meal itself, I know a tiramisu will hold up to anything I make. It starts here, with making some espresso. As always, you can find the full recipe in the description box below. I will walk you through the basics to show you just how easy it is to make this very elegant dessert. The espresso is mixed with some coffee liqueur and a little vanilla extract. This will need to cool before using. Tiramisu is essentially a creamy cloud layered with dipped lady fingers throughout the center. For this, you can use mascarpone cheese or cream cheese if you can't find mascarpone. Heavy cream, sugar, and vanilla. This is whipped into a cloud-like texture. The lady fingers should be dipped quickly and not soaked. Soaking can cause them to be too soggy, while the coffee liqueur flavor can easily overpower the light creaminess of the dessert. The dipped lady fingers are then arranged at the bottom of an 8x8 baking dish. This will be the first of four layers. The final sweet creamy layer is then dusted with a rich cocoa powder. This will now need to go into the fridge for a minimum of 4 hours before serving. God give us eyes to see the beauty of the spring. 
and to behold your majesty in every living thing. And may we see in lacy leaves and every budding flower the hand that rules the universe with gentleness and power. Helen Steiner Rice I hope you enjoy this dessert and this beautiful season we are in. Wishing you all a very happy Easter. Thank you so much for being here.